Welcome to the gap. This is gap. They should have never gave you platform. Let's get into the next segment right here, and we about to get into the sad segment. And today, the movie that I'm about to review or react to, whatever floats your boat, and this is on Netflix. I'm about to review you people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this was written and stuff by Jonas Hill. Yeah, you know what I mean? And uh, let me hit you with the stizziats first, and then I'll hit you with the cast. All right. So the stats was, you know, IMDb gave it a 5.6, and Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 45%, and the people gave it a 72%. And uh... I can't believe I'm about to agree with my bros writing tomato tomatoes and IMDb. I can't believe I'm about to agree with y'all. This to me, this really wasn't a good movie at all. Now, it had great parts. You feel me? Had like them sometimes them Steph Curry uh half court three moments, you feel me? But overall, this really wasn't a good movie. So to the people, y'all gave it 72%. Which, in reality, is a C. So, I mean, I guess I agree with y'all, too. It ain't really a good outcome, you feel me? This this wasn't a really good movie, you feel me? So, frick y'all. I agree with y'all, you feel me? Now, the cast was star-studded. They had one hell of a cast, you feel me? They had, uh, like I said, Jonah Hill, who wrote it. He was Ezra Cohen. They had Eddie Murphy. He was Akbar Muhammad. Then they had Lori London. She was Amiri Muhammad, which was the daughter of Akbar. Then you had Julia Lewis DeFrost, De or Dreyfus. Sorry, Elaine. If your mama called you Elaine, I'm going to call you Elaine. And it's Elaine from Seinfeld. You feel me? She played Shelly Cohen, which is the mother of Irzer Cohen. Then you had Nia Long. You feel me? And she was Fatima Muhammad. She was the husband of Akbar Muhammad and the mother of. Uh, Amir Muhammad. They also had Davy. Uh, I said Davy. My bad. David. I <laughs> don't <Adultra Bonnie. laughs> He was Arnold Cohen. He was the father of Israel. And then you know they had other cast members. They had Sam J. He. Uh, she was Mo. I almost said he. Does she want to be considered he? She. I don't know. I'm gonna say she. To correct it. Uh, she was the best friend of Israel. Then they had Taco. He was Omar Muhammad, which was the brother of Amir Muhammad. And they also had Mike Epps. He was EJ Muhammad, which was the uncle. You feel me? And they had other more. You feel me? They had hella people, bro. This was a star-studded cast, you feel me? And um, for it to be this star-studded, I can't believe this movie was this terrible. God damn, people. Oh, my God, bro. Y'all about to get the big poo. Golly, how do y'all have... And this just goes to show you, like, you could have a star-studded cast, but if the storyline is janky and weak as hell, and, like, I can't, the acting was was pretty good. Like, the acting was cool, you feel me? But the storyline was just very cringy, was weak as hell, and it destroyed the movie. That's why I made it. Poo! Jesus! Good Lord! Made it Terry Blade. But yeah, the stars of the cast, man, they had one hell of a cast. And um, like I said, like, I think the bright parts of this movie was whenever Eddie Murphy, Akbar Muhammad, and whenever Eddie Murphy was on screen, literally so funny. No matter what scene he was in, legend, let's give Eddie Murphy some goddamn air horns. Cause essentially, he turned he turned this terrible movie into an okay movie, in my eyes. Him and Mike Epps, oh my god. When they were on scene, especially together, oh my god, hilarious. Save the movie. Oh my goodness, this made it so funny when they were on scene. Jeez, Eddie Murphy still got it. Mike Epps got it too, bro. Hey, air horns for y'all too, bro. Y'all two of the greats, man. And... Me as a, I mean, I wouldn't consider myself a comedian, but other people do. Me as a digital comedian, you know, I gain inspiration from y'all. You feel me? So they made a terrible movie okay because they were so funny in it and they made it true. But the rest of the cast members, like, 
they acted really well. They were like their antics and movement because they all kind of comedians, so they know how to, you know, move how a comedian's supposed to in scene and stuff like that. But I think the jokes and the way the comedy was coming off was very cringy. Like one of the first things, and I was like, oh God, it's gonna be one of those type of movies, huh? So uh Mo, which I said played by Sam J. Mo is like and Irza has a podcast. Y'all don't have a podcast. Y'all have a show that y'all put on podcast form. All that big ass production y'all had, y'all kept calling it a damn podcast. It was cringy. It was like, oh, everybody's doing a podcast. Uh, oh, my, oh my God, bro. I'm tired already. And it was the first five minutes in the movie. And Mo says this line right here. Yeah, man. You know. I love my, you know, my 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 President Obama when we had our President Obama, you feel me? But, you know, Obama was doing coke. And I'm like, what? Jesus Christ. So this is the type of movie we about to get into, okay? And, uh, <laughs> I'm like, okay. why don't y'all talk about, I mean, the current President Joe Biden? I mean, he probably more likely doing coke than Obama. You feel me? But uh, we got to go to Obama doing coke. And you know what I mean? Maybe he was. I don't know. But this was the type of cringy comedy what was coming out of it. And I was just like, oh, my God, bro. And basically, the plot of the movie was interracial dating. That's it. That's the plot of the damn movie. Interracial dating. Ezra is dating Amir Muhammad, which she is a, a Muslim woman. You know me? You know, played by Lori London. Light skinned hottie. You know, Erza is like this uh this white dorky man, but he's all about the culture. And that was cringy too. I was so tired of them saying the culture. And I was so glad when Eddie Murphy character was like, Do you mean black culture? I was like, thank you. Cause it's not the culture. Cause the thing is about is like it get when y'all say shit like that, and it's like y'all, y'all white people, and y'all say, oh, "I'm doing it for the culture. I'm doing it for the culture," and it's like, and you just explain basically black culture, and it, it kind of was sad because they only basically was saying that black culture was music and fashion, literally, <laughs> like shoes, like black people culture, not music and shoes. God damn it, anything else, it ain't it ain't black culture. Music, shoes, and jokes. Oh my like, God. <laughs> but yeah, it kept saying the culture is like, no, it's black. You're taking from black culture because you're talking just about black subject matters, really. You feel me? You ain't talking, Jonas Hill, you ain't talking about Elvis. You ain't talking about the Beastie Boys. Huh? You ain't talking about Brett Favre and his wrongdoing. Y'all ain't saying nothing of that. You feel me? No. So I was just talking about like black culture. So that was another thing that was very cringy. What else was cringy was Israel was Jewish. And Akbar Muhammad, you know, Muslim. And it's like black people versus white people, the black people versus Jewish people. And, you know, they having their battle and their coat. And I'm just like, oh, they're at the dinner table and like. They're trying to come together it's like, oh my god, black people button with Jewish people. Oh, the Holocaust or slavery, which was worse. Oh my goodness. Dolly lottie dotty dotty. I'm like, oh my god. So cringy, bruh. Oh man. Y'all can win the cringe awards though. Good lord. Y'all cringy like that big African dude that be bucking like a mug and dancing and he dancing for chicken in front of white folks and stuff what's his name big suave big swoove big who i don't give a damn what his name is big you're doing coonery stuff looking like a coon in front of white folks bro cringy so that was another thing that was cringy it was a whole like you know oh we have our differences but we don't use jewish people in Black people that's Muslim and they butt heads and it's like, oh God. 
And another thing was mad cringy was like, and this was played by uh, Molly Gordon, and she was Lisa Cohen. She was the Scissor Ezra. I just, <sighs> cause she's like lesbian, and it's like, oh, God, here we go, just throw cringiness. Like, yo, it's very like the Velma show, and I'm gonna review that too. And it's like, y'all throwing all these polarized issues. From the LGBTQ to the black people going against Jewish people and all this. These polarizing issues, you're just throwing it in our face and you're trying to make it a comical shit. Interracial dating, polarizing issues. It's like, bruh, bruh, really? Really? Oh my God, bro. Oh! And this sucks though, because... I'm telling you, this was a star-studded calf, and the acting wasn't bad. Like, y'all y'all did y'all think. Acting-wise, it was just a story writing. The, the jokes. It was cringy. I'm like, oh, God. Really? Like, oh, like her character, LGBTQ. Had to throw that in there. You feel me? Yeah, Sam J. Mo was, like, LGBTQ, and it was a whole thing where, like, Isra only black friend is her the rest of his friends is white and borderline racist actually basically was racist you feel me they had like andrew schultz play avi cohen which is probably like the cousin or whatever you know and they were right wing conservatives i'm like god bro why like this all of this was just so cringy they had the polarizing issues from the left of the left to the right of the right, and just like, good lord, cringe tastic, Jesus. That's why this movie was just okay. Because I'm telling you, Eddie Murphy and Mike Epps, when they was on camera together and they were joking, I was laughing my ass off. But when all the rest of them were on, I was like, oh, it's the, it's not them, it's the writing, the type of jokes, man, cringy. And the whole interracial dating, like, my culture is different than yours. We can't get together. And then at the end, it's like, oh, they see their differences. Like, Eddie Murphy, Akbar, he was very, he was acting like an a hole. He was. I was like, bro, you're not giving Ezra a chance. But was he really acting like an a hole? Because Ezra was trying to fake the funk to be cool to her dad instead of being himself. Why can't I see, a, like, why, bro, like, why it had to be the white dude that's like, so, quote, quote unquote hip he has the latest jays on or the latest air max and damn dressed in with the drip why can't you be a, a motherfucker wearing boat shoes you feel me you look like a bird that's gonna be on a, the white boy that's gonna be on a yacht but you just like black women and you like our black culture why couldn't it be like that you feel me like you had to look like like jones hill had to look like the bruh appropriating the culture. That's why Mike Epps joke was so fitting. Called him the white Barry White. Yeah, bruh. You're trying to, trying to appropriate. I guess that was, that was another thing that was so cringy. Like, oh, the appropriation of culture. Oh, God. All right, bro. And basically, at the end, Israel and Amir, they like the parents of them, you know, Shelly and... Akbar, they come together, you know, it's like, yo, my daughter and your son love each other, you know, let's have them at a wedding, and they had to have a wedding in the sneaker shop, like, oh my god, how come they couldn't have the wedding in, like, some, some Jewish spot, what, like, you feel, you feel what I'm saying, like, well, it's for the culture, the, the black culture, and it's like, really, like, Y'all should it. I mean, they try to tie it together. I don't know. I'm done with this. All right. You, you people. <laughs> you people. Yeah. Goddamn. What are y'all doing? Jesus. This is so cringeworthy, man. It was a cringe watch, bro. But hey, man. Shout out to the legends, man. Eddie Murphy and Mike Epps. Y'all get air horns again. Y'all made a terrible movie okay. Good Lord. Wow. Well, anyway, man, that was a uh, that was you people on Netflix. Hey, 
watch it. Tell me how you feel. <laughs> Golly.